It is eight years since the Northern Collector Tunnel was launched with the aim of pumping extra 140 million liters of water into Nairobi that would contribute to alleviating water shortages. Expectations were high when works started. Once we are able to uh, complete this tunnel, we will be able, as the rains come now, uh, we will be able to harvest this water and recharge Ndakaini. Once we do this, we will not have the issue of water rationing in Nairobi again. However, the project started receiving negative publicity with opposition leader Raila Odinga saying it would have adverse environmental consequences. And we are saying the Jubilee must stop digging the tunnels of anger and death. Maji kuja na lobby, lakini ikija na lobby, katika yu safari ya na lobby, watu wa mulanga na wawo wa kunye maji ya kutoshi. Yes, the beginning was not easy, but the relevant authorities remained firm on its objectives with timelines changing due to politics and other unforeseen circumstances. In uh, 2018, we will have this project completed and we will be able to bring into Nairobi 140 million liters of water daily. This is an engineering masterpiece that I've witnessed during my time as a CS. At least what I can promise Kenyans by end of 2020, there will be a relief in Nairobi. I'm also contributing to an improved water coverage from the current 70% uh, to 80%, which is a target that the president uh, has set for himself before uh, he leaves the scene in the coming one year. What exactly is the Northern Collector Tunnel? The Northern Collector Tunnel is a underground infrastructure that is designed to convey water and trap, trap water from three rivers, Malawa, Ilate and Gekigi, and convey the same water to Dakaini Dam. It's one of the components of the fourth Nairobi Water Supply Project. The other components being the water treatment plant, the pipeline 56 kilometers from Kegoro to Nairobi, two distribution network, one from Kebu tanks to Ebakasi, and the other one from uh, Kabete, through Odelo to Kalen and to Ongata Nogai. The estimated cost of the entire project is 24 billion Kenya shillings, sourced from the government of Kenya, supported by loans from World Bank, French Development Bank, and German Development Agency. The Northern Collector Tunnel cuts across two constituencies, that is Kangema and Kigumo, both in Muranga County. Let's now give you a clearer picture of what necessitated the project. Water has been a huge problem in the county of Nairobi. We have not been able to develop water sources uh, that go with the population um, in the city. The current water supply was supposed to fill the demand as of uh, 2001. I remember that time the population that, uh, whose demand we were trying to fill was 2.2 million uh, Nairobians. Uh, the population has grown exponentially. Um, you can't compare. Now we're talking about 5 million people. The main reason for starting the uh, Northrop Collector Tunnel is to bridge the, the water uh, deficiency gap in the city. The demand for the city is currently 850,000 cubic meters of water. And this system is uh, producing about 140,000 cubic meters of water. Judy Kinoti is a resident of Nairobi's Kilimani Estate. She has lived in Nairobi for over 40 years and she narrates how tedious it has been getting water for her domestic use. We get our water from the water bouncers and it's quite expensive and it's salty water. The amount I pay for one bowser is equivalent to my five months uh, water bill. That's it, but we have no alternative. What do we do? Judy is among the many residents of Nairobi facing water challenges, but it will be a big relief when the Northern Collector Tunnel project is completed. And this is how the system will work. Flood water harvested from the three rivers in Muranga County and channeled through the 12-kilometer Northern Collector Tunnel will end up in Dakaini Dam. Thereafter, the water will be treated at Kigoro Water Treatment Plant, then flow for 56 kilometers to a reservoir in Gigiri.
From Gigiri, the water will take two routes. It will be pumped to Kabete Reservoir for distribution to the western side of Nairobi, including Uthiru, Waithaka, Langata and Karen. The second pipeline will be to the eastern side of the city via gravity to Embakasi and surrounding areas like Buruburu, Donholm and Umoja. It is important to note that water harvested through the Northern Collector Tunnel will not just benefit residents of Nairobi. That is a recent agreement or change because of the demand and the request that the host community in, Gata, in uh, Gatanga can get some water from the Northern Collector. The project's delay has majorly been attributed to land-related challenges. We have three main challenges. The first challenge is uh, availability of land because we compensate those people through whose land the, pipe, the pipeline is passing. And uh, we have had very many difficulties in agreeing with the landowners. And this one has, has uh, actually delayed the project for close to one, uh, one year. The ministry has that mandate and the role. Identify, and once that is done, you, we, we work closely with the National Land Commission because they are the ones who come with the variation, variations and, uh, and the payments are released through the National Land Commission so that when we acquire, then we give the money to the National Land Commission. The Ministry of Lands is critical because it is the custodian of the legal documentations that allow the transfers and movement of those parcels to the water development uh, agencies. For this particular project, the land compensation was uh, huge. It's about 8 billion shillings. We are halfway. Obviously, there are processes to be done, including allocation of budget. But we, we are OK. We have uh, uh, put it in our budgetary uh, provisions, and we will be dealing with that. Another uh, challenge is litigation. We have been taken to court uh, several times, and uh, the courts have stopped our, our working. Even as I speak now, there's a section of about half a kilometer that we have been stopped from working. We cannot work where we have an injunction. We may con complete everywhere else, but if this injunction is not lifted, it will still contribute to, to further delay. However, the matter will be coming for Luli on February 16th. We have prayed that the injunction be lifted so that we can work. The other main challenge is the budgetary allocation to this work. Uh, despite having a loan from Fresh Development Bank, there is a counterpart funding that comes from uh, the government of Kenya to finance uh, land acquisition. That much for much has not been forthcoming, both timely and inadequacy. Even as we speak now, we have a deficit of about 450 million to compensate the last sections. Uh, where we need to work uh, in the next phase. Despite the challenges, there is hope as efforts are being made to expedite the implementation of the project. The efforts that we have put in place to accelerate the delivery of this project is including bringing on board uh, uh, two subcontractors in this, over and above to support the main contractor. So, and we have increased the number of teams that are working from uh, three to ten. We have also uh, uh, talked to the material supplier, the suppl supplier of pipes, so that we ca can ensure that the, the, the pipes are delivered on time. And I want to thank the President, because his interventions have made sure that we will now be receiving 140 million litres. We've sat down with the President, with the Earthy Water Works, with the Ministry of Water, with the Honorable Alice Wahome, and uh, we are proud and happy. If all the challenges are addressed timely, the project will be delivered by the end of March this year. The infrastructure will be complete by the end of March this year. All the pipes will be, will be laid, uh, and water may reach the lobby by that time. 
Uh, however, there are some other preparatory phases that will need to be undertaken, including sterilization of the pipes that may take an additional one, one month or so. So maybe by the end of April, that's when the people of Nairobi can enjoy this commodity. If we have running water on our taps, it will be heaven to us. For us, because even we ration water in the house, because it's very expensive. This is a big thing um, for the people of Nairobi, and it is us fulfilling our promise that we made to Nairobians during the campaigns for the president to fulfill his promise um, for that water as we move on to, to grow it. Part of the, po the pollution that comes to our rivers is because we don't have proper ablution facilities or water that is now you know, linked to the, the, the sewerage system. This is going to help us. Water and uh, sanitation and sewerage go hand in hand. There is no dignity when there's no water in our households. When our, you know, our mothers and our sisters have to queue all night um, to fill uh, uh, mitungi for it to be used in the house. We want to get this water beyond the social connections and we have a social connection policy into people's houses. We will reduce waterborne diseases, um, the threat of, uh, of cholera, you know, will, will actually go down. You saw during COVID when people were just being told to wash their hands um, and to sanitize, a lot of these diseases burden went down, but now it is creeping back. Now with the water, we'll be able to reduce um, that. Um, the cost of water in our informal settlements, you find that they pay more than 50 times what somebody in Mufaiga is paying. That reduces and people will now be able to use their money for other things. We will have possibly done about 85% access to water and that basically will answer to most problems of water in Nairobi and Muranga. Indeed, there is no choice but to actualize the Northern Collector Tunnel project, a mega masterpiece, the only of its kind in the region, a project that will bring to an end the city's water challenges.